This is Paul Klee's painting called Castle and the Sun. We are going to create our own today. We are going to be building a constructed environment. I want you to think of the word constructed like if you were thinking of construction. A construction worker is someone who builds buildings or roads or something like that. So they use big tools and machinery to be able to construct that environment. We will be builders today to make a constructed environment and build our castle. We will be using these types of shapes to build our castle. Hello, my most amazing artists. First thing we're going to do is write our name and our teacher's name on the back of our paper. Once we have our name on our paper, we're going to flip it over so that our names are on the back. Then what we are going to do is take this cup at our table and a black oil pastel. I am going to find somewhere at the tippy top of my paper to put my sun for Paul Klee's castle and the sun picture. Once I trace around that for my sun, I am then ready to create my castle. So, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my black paint and my cardboard. I am going to create my castle by making lines with my cardboard. So I'm going to dip it in the paint and then I am going to carefully build my castle up. So I'm starting at one edge or corner of my paper and I am making a square. Then you're going to keep building that castle. Make sure that you don't accidentally set your hand in your paint. So I like to kind of keep my hand on the other side of where I'm working. Then I can make another square on top. If your cardboard runs out of paint, that's okay. Just dip it in the paint again and it will work just fine. You can build this first tower as tall as you want. I think my first tower is going to be the tallest because then I know my next towers will need to be shorter so they can fit under the sun. Then I am going to maybe even add a roof, a triangle roof on top by just going diagonally with my cardboard. Then I can start to build another tower right next to it. It's okay if your lines aren't perfectly straight. Every castle will be different. This one, maybe I don't want to add a roof. Maybe though on this one, I could add some lines going across like a letter X. So. I can go across and if it doesn't reach all the way, that's okay. You can just continue your line by moving your cardboard and pressing again. See, it didn't go all the way, so I'm moving and pressing again. So you'll notice that in Paul's, Paul Klee's castle, he has lots of different shapes inside of each shape. So maybe I wanna add some to my picture too. Then I'm going to start another tower. I want you to have at least three towers on your page. And maybe this will be shorter, so it goes tall, medium, short. I don't know, it is up to you. This one I think I do want to add a roof also. 
Then, if you wanted to add any details in the future, we'll wait for this paint to dry and we'll add those in with an oil pastel next time when we paint. When you are all done, you are going to please raise your hand and then I can get you a big piece of paper to try and build the biggest, tallest, widest castle that you can with your table partner.